The Sahara, vast, unforgiving, a sea of sand stretching to infinity, in its heart a mystery, an anomaly, a house, an impossible home, SCP-8010, a designation that signifies the unknown, the unexplainable, a beacon of strangeness in a world already full of wonders. This is no ordinary house. It exists in a realm between the tangible and the unreal. Imagine a pristine white house, Victorian in style, a wraparound porch promising shade from the merciless sun. A rocking chair sways gently as if waiting for a visitor, but no visitor can ever arrive. The house shimmers on the horizon, a mirage made real. It calls to the soul, whispering promises of comfort and respite, but the Sahara guards its secrets jealously. The desert, a labyrinth of shifting sands and scorching winds, ensures SCP-8010 remains forever out of reach. There's a strange allure to SCP-8010, a pull that tugs at the explorer's heart, a longing for a home that exists in a place where homes cannot be. It is a siren's song in a desolate land. Many have been drawn to its mystery. Scientists, adventurers, dreamers, all seeking to unravel its secrets, to touch its pristine white walls to sit on its porch and feel the phantom breeze, but the desert holds them at bay. Each attempt to reach the house ends in failure. The journey becomes a Sisyphean task, an endless loop of frustration and defeat. The closer one gets, the further away it seems. The house, a phantom retreating into the shimmering heat. The Sahara, a jealous lover, keeps SCP-8010 to itself. It is a dance of desire and denial, a constant push and pull between the allure of the house and the impassable nature of the desert. details of the house are frustratingly elusive. It exists as a series of glimpses, fleeting images caught through the haze of heat and distance. Enough to tantalize, to fuel the obsession, but never enough to satisfy. The house appears to be immaculately maintained. No trace of dust or sand mars its white walls. The windows, gleaming in the sun, appear to hold a promise of warmth and light. A sense of life persists, as if the house breathes despite its impossible location. The rocking chair on the porch continues its gentle sway. An invitation, perhaps, or a cruel mockery of the unattainable. The house whispers of a life that cannot be, a home that exists only in dreams and mirages. The closer one gets, the more details emerge. The scent of freshly cut grass wafts on the wind, incongruous with the arid landscape. The faint sound of piano music drifts from within, a melody both melancholic and strangely comforting. But these sensory experiences only heighten the frustration, serving as reminders of the unbreachable distance. The threshold of SCP-8010 remains uncrossed. No human foot has ever trod upon its porch. No hand has ever tested the solidity of its walls. The house exists in a realm just beyond our grasp, a tantalizing enigma. Expeditions have been mounted. Teams of scientists, armed with their latest technology, have ventured into the Sahara. They map the terrain, analyze the atmospheric conditions, seeking a rational explanation for this impossible phenomenon. But the desert guards its secrets well. The desert seems to conspire against them. Sandstorms erupt without warning, blinding and disorienting. Equipment malfunctions, compasses spin wildly, and maps become meaningless scribbles. The Sahara, it seems, has no intention of revealing its secrets. The house remains a distant beacon, a symbol of both our insatiable curiosity and our limitations. It is a reminder that, despite our technological advancements and our thirst for knowledge, there are still mysteries that elude our grasp. The Sahara is more than just a geographical location. It's a force of nature, a living entity with its own rules and its own agenda. It is a jealous lover, possessive of its secrets, and it will not surrender them easily. The desert plays tricks on the mind, mirages shimmer on the horizon, offering the promise of water and respite, only to dissolve into nothingness. The wind whispers secrets, carrying voices that may or may not be real. The sun beats down mercilessly, blurring the line between reality and hallucination. The desert is a master of illusion, a weaver of dreams and nightmares. It tests the limits of human endurance, pushing explorers to their physical and psychological breaking points. Some have ventured into its depths and never returned, swallowed whole by its unforgiving embrace. Those who survive return changed, haunted by the whispers of the wind, the shifting sands, and the impossible house that forever eludes their grasp. They carry the Sahara within them, a constant reminder of the mysteries that lie hidden beneath its surface. CP-8010 exists in a realm where the rules of reality seem to bend. It is a place where time and space become fluid, where perception is unreliable, and where the impossible becomes possible. The desert itself seems to warp around the house, creating a pocket dimension that defies our understanding. Some theories suggest that the house is a gateway, a portal to another dimension or perhaps even another time. 
The desert in this theory acts as a veil, obscuring the true nature of the house and preventing access to those who are not meant to find it. Others believe that the house is a manifestation of the collective unconscious, a symbol of our shared longing for home and belonging. It exists as a potent image in our minds, a beacon of hope and comfort in a world that can often feel cold and chaotic. Whatever the explanation, SCP-8010 challenges our understanding of reality. It forces us to confront the limitations of our perception, to acknowledge that there are forces at work in the universe that we may never fully comprehend. The wind carries stories. In the Sahara, the wind is a storyteller. Its voice, a low hum that weaves tales of ancient civilizations, lost oases and forgotten dreams. And sometimes the wind whispers of SCP-8010. Legends speak of a jinn, a powerful being who resides within the house. It is said that the jinn guards a secret, a treasure of immeasurable value, and that it lures travelers to the house with the promise of riches beyond their wildest dreams. Others whisper of a curse, a malevolent entity that haunts the house, preying on the souls of those who dare to approach. They say that the house is a trap, a siren song that leads to madness and despair. The wind, however, is a fickle narrator. Its stories shift and change, blending truth and fiction, leaving listeners to decipher the meaning hidden within its whispers. The stories serve as warnings, as enticements, as echoes of the mysteries that lie at the heart of the Sahara. The most cruel trick that SCP-8010 plays is the illusion of proximity. The house appears close, tantalizingly within reach, yet every step forward only increases the distance. The desert, a master illusionist, plays with our perception, teasing us with the possibility of arrival, while ensuring we remain forever on the outside. Travelers have documented this phenomenon. They describe walking for hours, even days, with the house seemingly unchanging in its position on the horizon. The closer they get, the more the environment around them distorts, as if the desert itself is conspiring to keep them at bay. Some have spoken of seeing the house from different angles, as if they are walking in circles, their path determined by an unseen force. Others have described moments of clarity where the illusion is shattered and the house appears miles away, a cruel reminder of their futile efforts. The desert, it seems, has no intention of allowing anyone to reach SCP-8010. It is a game of cat and mouse, a constant push and pull where the prize is always just out of reach. Is SCP-8010 even real? Or is it merely a collective hallucination, a shared delusion fueled by the harsh conditions of the Sahara? Is it a figment of our imaginations, a projection of our deepest desires and fears onto the blank canvas of the desert? Some theories suggest that the house is a product of the human mind, a psychological phenomenon triggered by the extreme heat, dehydration and isolation of the desert environment. The mind seeking comfort and familiarity in the face of adversity conjures up an image of home, a beacon of hope in a desolate landscape. Others believe that the house is a remnant of a forgotten civilization, a psychic echo of a time when the Sahara was a fertile land, teeming with life. The house in this theory is a ghost, a lingering memory of a past that has been erased by the sands of time. Whether real or imagined, SCP-8010 holds a powerful sway over the human psyche. It speaks to our deepest longings, our fears, and our fascination with the unknown. It is a reminder that the line between reality and illusion is often blurred, especially in the heart of the Sahara. CP-8010 remains an enigma, a puzzle that defies easy answers. It is a symbol of the mysteries that still exist in our world, a testament to the power of the unknown to captivate our imaginations and challenge our understanding of reality. The house, forever out of reach, continues to beckon. It invites us to question our assumptions, to explore the boundaries of our perception, and to confront the forces that shape our reality. It is a reminder that there are still places in the world where the impossible seems possible, where the laws of nature bend, and where the line between the real and the unreal blurs. SCP-8010 is a story that is still being written. Each expedition, each attempt to reach the house, adds a new chapter to its legend. The mystery deepens with each passing year, drawing us further into its web of intrigue. The house, a silent sentinel in the heart of the Sahara, continues to whisper its secrets to the wind, waiting for the day when its mysteries will finally be unraveled. The Sahara keeps its secrets close. SCP-8010, a symbol of our yearning for home and our fascination with the unknown, remains a tantalizing enigma. The house, forever out of reach, is a reminder that the world is full of mysteries, and that some doors are not meant to be open. Perhaps in the end, the true value of SCP-8010 lies not in finding answers, 
but in embracing the mystery itself.